I'm just doing a bit of corner cutting here. I also have a traffic violation. I think I bounced into a cop. Oh, we need to jump the guard. All right, we'll pretend that. <laughs> we'll pretend that's all good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so over the years, we've played a lot of games on the channel, but none ever more so requested than this. So welcome back to TDU2. For those of you who are new around here, last year I went and I started a series on this game and we played a full 17 parts of that series. If you would like to check it out, I will link it down below. But today we are going to pick right back off with where I left it off a year ago. So uh, when, when I started up the game, I, I started in this place. I don't remember what I was doing. But I would imagine I was trying to get a new license. Anyways, I guess we'll do some license. Did I, did I get my license? Did I pass? I've passed one of eight, I guess. This is so weird. I don't even remember how to play this game. I don't even remember what we did in the la- Oh my god, it's loud. So welcome to TDU2. I have been wanting to play this game for a really, really long time. If you do want me to continue this series, smash the like button. And I will take it into consideration because I, I actually don't know if I should continue playing this on the Xbox 360, which I am right now, and for the previous 17 parts. I've actually always played this game on the Xbox 360 ever since um, I originally played it way back when. But I did pick it up in a Steam sale a couple of years ago on the PC. But I, I, since I've never played it on the PC, I don't know if there's any mods that like are worth it for me to check out on there. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below! And we can figure out what, what I should do, if I should just continue the series or check out some mods on PC. Maybe do a mix of both, I'm not really sure. You'll have to let me know down below. I just spat all over the room as well, that was really gross. Do I have to stop? I don't think I'm gonna make it. Stop! Oh my god, that was so close. I feel like we only had 50 seconds to do it. 49.7! Just cutting it a bit close there. So what are we even doing? We're trying to get this license, but I don't know if we actually needed a new license in this. So it's quite it's quite strange. All right, let's go. We've got a minute 30 to do this. We've got three laps. Okay, cool. I always remember these license thingies being quite difficult. When I played this game originally, it, it came out quite a while ago, and I was just never good enough to get past this license, actually. So if I can do it, then congratulations for me. I am better than I was at video games about eight years ago. <laughs> You have to get on the power so smooth. <gasps> oh, I got so close to that. If I hit that little flashy checkpoint thingy, that would have been it. I would have needed to restart the entire thing. Please tell me this is quick enough as well. I hope it is. I feel like it's been quite good. I've got seven seconds. Oh! Oh, I am so good at video games in my older age. Look at this. It definitely does feel good to be back in this game, though. It's... I don't know. It was like... After a while, yeah, it's very repetitive and stuff like that, but after you take a little break, a, a year-long break in some cases, you're like, okay, yeah, let's let's get back into it. I also really want to try out the casino again. I don't know if the- okay. Yeah, I don't even know if you need the servers to work to, to, to use the casino or, or, or what, but using the casino was always one of, like, the coolest things. It was just a hell of a lot of fun! Oh my god! Alright, Mercedes is- oh, it's literally killed me. <laughs> Alright, maybe getting a license isn't the best idea, because apparently I can't control- Let's- let's just go try to do some normal races, you know? Alright, let's just leave. Thank you for launching me down a mountain, man. I'll see you in a year. <laughs> oh, look, I'm in a Mercedes. I've got my own- Oh, wait! This is Tess's Mercedes. I remember Tess. Tess is like the villainy lady who we beat last episode, I guess. Alright, cool. <laughs> Single player challenges. We've got a couple of things. Oh. That's 2.5 million for the Hawaii Area 1 Cup. Okay, we've got a C3, which is classic cars, I believe. And that's it, that's all we've got. So maybe, maybe we do this guy. This guy could be quite a bit of fun, I think. That's one of the race courses in the game. Oh, that is so dope. We should stop by one of my mega mansions. Let's stop by a mega mansion, pick up one of my mega supercars, and remember what this game was really cool. For. This was literally the best part of the game just being able to walk around your house and stuff like this It was so cool and just like sh Seeing your cars in the flesh was all where's my garage. Where is my garage door? Is this my garage? I, I was looking right at it when I spawned in good job me. Oh, yeah I've got a Veyron in this game. I bought I think I bought the Veyron 
simply for the fact that it was the fastest car in the game. Just so I could get from place to place on the map quickly. Because this map is mega huge. Let's head over here. Let's do a lap of the virtual, or well, the real racetrack. I don't actually know what this racetrack is. Hey guys, so present day Nick cutting in right here, and I figured out what this circuit is because I did a little bit of research, and it's kind of sad that I didn't actually figure out what this circuit was before I actually, or as I was driving around it, because I've only driven around this race course many times in real life before, and the fact that I couldn't figure it out is kind of sad because this is actually sort of a fantasy version of a track that's literally down the street for me. Um, this is the Montreal Grand Prix circuit, and I couldn't figure that out while playing TDU2. So, um, yeah, props to me. I couldn't figure out my hometown Grand Prix circuit. So, um, good job. Anyways, um, you'll hear me say in the video a couple times, I don't know what circuit this is. Turns out, I probably should have. Enjoy the rest of the video. I don't know what race course this is, but it is a race course somewhere in the world. One of you guys probably are able to tell very quickly what it is. I feel like I should know it, though. I feel like I've seen this course before. Oh my god, I've taken a lot of speed in. Stop telling me I'm going in the wrong bleeding direction. I know which way I'm supposed to go. I'm, I, I, I don't know which track this is. I know Brands Hatch somewhere is on this map, which is quite cool. Ah, no! But yeah, there's just like a bunch of really cool places like, oh, am I driving the wrong way around the circuit? Maybe, I'm not sure now. Well, that is a lap of who knows what circuit this is. Anyways, that was a pretty cool little look at that. Let's go and get back on the road and go down our coast road. Then we got five miles to go to our point. All right, cool. Oh, I remember a thing at the top of the screen as well. Our, what was it? It was called the Frim. The free ride instant money. Yes, I remember that. I'm just doing a bit of corner cutting here. I also have a traffic violation. I think I bounced into a cop. Oh, we need to jump the guard. All right, we'll pretend that <laughs> we'll pretend that's all good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Welcome to TDU2. <laughs> all right, let's enter the he 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 wee cup. Okay, those are some pretty cool Six, cars. Seven, eight. Are you counting okay, your cars? Okay, that's all of it. Everything is all set as usual. I'm finally ready for this first cup in Hawaii. See you. Yeah, the the thingies are a bit cringe. Oh, we have to do these in order. I remember these. Okay. So we have to start with this time trial and then go blah, 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 blah. All right, I guess we'll start with the time trial because I remember there being... So the last time we did like one of these cup races was um, on the first island where we literally drove around the entire thing and it took me an hour to do it. Um, so I imagine it's the same thing here. So this will probably take a couple of episodes, providing we continue this series. I'm not sure yet. I don't know what car I need. I need an A5 car. I guess I'll take... I guess I'll take this. Tess's AMG CL or SLK. Do they even make the SLK anymore? I don't even know. Like, is, is that even still a thing? Uh, so today I learned Mercedes has axed the SLK in uh, replacing it with the SLC, which is the, literally the most stupid name change I can imagine. Come on, Mercedes. I thought you were better than that. All right, anyways, let's go. I have a time trial. We have two minutes and 18 seconds, nine checkpoints to go. Let's try and do it in our little convertible. We're looking very manly in this, by the way. In our gradient-filled Mercedes with the top down. We are looking good. However, it has been said looking good is more important than looking where you're going. Oh, I'm losing as well. That does not look good. Oh, I've picked up a penalty! Hitting the wall apparently picks you up a penalty. That's not cool. How far? I'm 1.8 seconds back off the time already! We're on checkpoint three! All right, we're gonna be a little bit more off the penalty now. Yep, sorry, sorry, I've had a problem. Three set, three and a half seconds, and we're set. I'm really good at TDU too. Like the actual races, when you're actually racing against people, it's not that difficult. But as soon as you do like time trials or like the speed events, it just becomes so hard. Maybe that's why I stopped playing this. I'm not sure. Anyways, if we could try to keep it sort of on the track this time, that would be good. Much better start than last time. Hey, look at that, I'm already a second green as well. Also, probably not getting about 100 feet of air, vertical, would be a good idea as well. So let's go slow over the big jump. Oh, look at that. I'm not doing that badly this time. I'm a little bit green. Okay, slow down. 
Shit, I nearly completely ate knobs again. That would have been bad. Oh my god, I'm red by two seconds! Yeah! Okay, I figured out why I stopped playing this game. It's really difficult. It's really, really difficult. 2.7 seconds! Oh, stop spinning your wheels! I don't like TDU2 anymore. <laughs> I need to nail these co- Five seconds red! How? I was like, I need to nail these corners if I want to win. Or not. Fifth place! I need to get first place in any- every one of these if I want to- We're going to race some classic cars, lads, because this is quite difficult. All right, we're nearly here. Do I even have a C3 car to race? Or do I need to, like, buy one? Oh, you know the coolest thing about this game as well? Uh, I just like to, um, completely forgot to show this off before. I mean, everyone knows this. Put that indicator on, put my roof up. See, this is why everyone just bought convertibles in this game, just because it was literally the coolest thing ever, being able to do that. So why is this locked? I see it says locked on my map. Is that because I'm in the middle of a championship already? So do I need to give up? I don't have a vehicle for this category. I see. I get, oh shit though. Bet I didn't realize that was in this game. So there's a 250 GTO, which is not available because it's DLC. A Ferrari F4, oh it's DLC as well as C1. Oh, I could have driven that. Uh, C4, no, but they can't drive that. I can drive this, what is this? A Ferrari Dino. Nah. How about this? This is a Ferrari 308 GTS. Quattrarovalovle. I think I'll have that. It seems more interesting than a Dino. So let's go with this. It also looks a bit better and critically has the coolest car feature ever. Pop-up headlights. So, um, it wins. Oh yeah, this was so cool. You could like, you could, you could like do the trim for your car. I mean, there's no other trims for this Ferrari, but you could in theory change the rims. Uh, you can choose, like, all your paints. Oh, we get a blue Ferrari. No, let's go with a bright red Ferrari, yes. You can choose, like, the interior trim. There wasn't even interior in this game, I think. But that's still really cool. Oh, I have no more space in the garage. Shit. I may need to sell a car. Or, better yet, better than selling a car, buy another house. <laughs> I like the buying house strategy a little more. All right, now... We can go start this silly thing all the way down here. I just want to win a race. Literally all we've done in this video is done a license thing so and that was it. Do you think this new competition at Hawaii will allow you to get back on track after your disappointing results at Ibiza? In Hawaii, everything will be different. I'll stop playing around and bring out my claws. <gasps> oh, sorry, Mikhail. Are She's you all right, kinky. my dear? Very kinky. Rawr. Is that what she means? She's a cougar. All right, let's go do uh let's go do this. We're going against Miami Harris, C3 Speed Trap, Honolulu Traps. Speed thingy. Do it. I just want to keep- Where did you get an E-Type from? Where? No, you bitch! I want an E-Type! I also want that Mercedes. Okay, I want all of these old classic cars. Oh, shit. Yeah, I remember how these work. Um, you don't have any set route to go to. You can do any of the checkpoints in any order. And because I don't know the city at all, I end up just following everyone else in this game. And trying to sort of, I guess, keep up with them in some capacity. Like, that was not the fastest speed I could have gone through there. But I am doing quite a bit more than some of these people, which is good. So let's hit this one. Get on the brakes. Definitely not awful. Could have been much worse. We will come and hit some of these, though, with some more speed as we drive around them. So we've hit checkpoints two four and five come on nail that one perfect oh they're going a different way than i am how interesting because i was thinking i want to hit this number three i want to hit this number three coming around this corner like this and i'm not gonna have the best speed for it but a uh, i didn't actually do 100 miles an hour on there close ish but what i was thinking was i want to come along here chuck it in here take another run at number two which i may not better my speed on Oh shit, they're gonna be really fast on number three. I'm currently in first place for now. And I've gone the wrong way here. No! I tried to come up here with a hell of a lot of speed and nail it into five. I got four seconds, come on, come on. Oh no, I'm in second! No! 
You're having a laugh! If I didn't go the wrong way, I definitely would have done it. It was one mile an hour difference. I 100% would have done it. It was the same car as me as well. Well, we can't end on that. I need another thing. Um, I guess this. Are you ready to go in the Ferrari and probably crash? Yes, but hopefully I can do it in style and quite quickly. And after the finish line, that would all be good. I also keep forgetting about this silly penalty system that they have. So I can't really, like, cut corners. I mean, I can dip tires, but I can't cut corners. Ooh, look at the speed in the Ferrari. Oh, look at the speed. Oh, please don't get too much air over here. We got too much air over there. Well, that was T to you too. Um, if you've enjoyed, smash the like button. Turn your belly icon thingies on. I don't really know how they work, but apparently YouTube's broken to shit now. So that's fun. Um... If you want me to play some more, you know what to do, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs> what a cool game. It's impossible, but it's really cool.